Item number RPC-023. Designation Dark as a Dungeon. Object Class Alpha. Containment Protocols. A team of six RPC staff are to remain undercover in the vicinity of RPC-023 and report on any unusual occurrences within it. These staff are expected to join in on the digging process and bring back any unusual materials to the delivery truck stationed in Virginia. Should they be compromised, cyanide pills and Walther PPK Oblique S handguns have been provided to each team member as tools of escape should their cover be blown. Description. RPC-023 is a small mining town in the southwestern panhandle of Virginia. The town appears to be culturally trapped in the mid to late 1900s. The town's economy relies on the nearby mine. While locals often refer to what they are digging as coal, in reality, a number of unknown artifacts are being dug up constantly, with few, if any, coal samples ever being collected. None of the town's residents ever leave with no roads aside from a 100-plus-year-old logging road leading to the mountaintop town. The town consists of at least 40 small houses, a town hall, a grocery store, a general goods store, a barber shop, a cemetery, and a small hospital. Other buildings, such as a jail, have been reported, but satellite imagery is unable to confirm their existence due to foliage interfering with the view nearly year-round. The locals take an interest in outsiders and are quick to offer up accommodations. RPC agents assigned to the town are quickly employed by the owner of the mine, a man going by Mr. Weaver. Casual conversations revealed that most, if not all, of the townspeople are actually missing persons. It is unknown who first settled the town, but it is known that Mr. Weaver's family has owned the mine since before the town was settled. Before settlement, most miners came from the nearby towns of and West Virginia. The main mine shaft reaches a total depth of 4,000 kilometers, far beyond the depth of Earth's crust. Temperatures within the mine vary from 10 through 32 degrees Celsius, depending on how far one strays from the main mine shaft, which is heated by the locals using industrial heaters, torches, and campfires. Geothermal anomalies also make the temperature highly variable in different sections. Artifacts and locations excavated within the mine include Fossils of S. Egyptiacus and M. of Mani Veins of red fluid in place of what likely could be coal Fresh corpses of both humans and H. Neanderthaliensis a skull with two goat-like horns protruding from all angles, aside from the nose, jaw, eyes, and ears. A severed human, complete with a rusted P08 Luger pistol, Mesopotamian pottery, an entrance to a large underground sea, complete with aquatic life forms. A workshop stocked with surgical tools and artificial bones. A crew of previously dead miners playing poker in a pocket of natural gas. These men were placed back on payroll. An altar. Shortly after the arrival of the undercover RPC agents, a den of large, carnivorous felines was uncovered, setting loose a total of four breeding pairs and one male leader. These felines resemble panthers, but longer, slimmer, and more flexible. They have presented a constant threat to the miners and frequently stalk the labyrinth of interconnected tunnels and chasms. These felines, collectively dubbed RPC-023-1, have become a constant threat to the miners and the undercover RPC agents, four of whom have been killed or seriously injured and required replacements. Despite all the dangers of the mines, on top of being actively hunted and killed, the miners have been slowly but steadily tunneling deeper and deeper. All miners seem to have gallows humor and imply through conversation that they are fully aware that the mine defies logic and that they are digging towards a goal. They imply that someday they will find coal. 
Addendum. Pottery of an unknown origin found within RPC-023 in 2013 depicts some sort of underground dwelling deity, seemingly encased in a tomb. It is pitch black in appearance, with a humanoid appearance. It possesses six arms and walks on four human legs, and two tunnels converge above its agape mouth. It is unknown if this is merely a coincidence, but the Authority is currently considering solutions should this mine discover a world-threatening entity.